Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's time for more Punic Power. I'm your host, Galvin. Oh no, my son. He is unlanded. This is my court now. Next time, I need to make sure to get a matrilineal marriage so the children are in my court. Alright. Alright, where were we? Step one, go beat the shit out of them. For having the audacity to invade me. I tend to punish things like that very heavily. And then, we're marching on Alexandria. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter where we march on, but, you know. There is no, uh... Proper procedure. I'll, uh... Taking that back. Tell me, how much money are you worth, son? I'm gonna guess and say it's, uh... Very little, if any, isn't it? 36 gold, it's not worth it. Even as poor as I am... Good. Let's get a little money out of those. Let's create the duchy title of our Carthago Inferior. That's fine. Good. A decent amount of money coming in. We will need it. Speaking of, did I mix my retinues in? I did. I'm going to keep those guys separate again, as usual. Central African Rebels. They're a minor issue. They will be dealt with. Moderation is the key. Excellent. Uh, we don't have access here. Um, okay. Uh, we're just going to assault this. It's going to hurt slightly. And by slightly, I mean a lot, but that's okay. Indeed. Always nice. Uh, we need do need better steward. Good. We got a steward Jew. Always nice to see. Valentinian Uprising. Valentinian Uprising. Docetic Uprising. I don't even know what the hell's going on anymore. I think their Valentinians are winning, though. I think. Scythian invasion of Iberia. That sucks. Second Oriental Valentinian Revolt. How oh, what are you? The Cynic Revolt. Eh, I don't know. Politics are weird here. There's Jews fighting for the Valentinians. And somehow I think they're just fighting for us because they want to see what happens if we actually take over the area. Or maybe, who knows, maybe just because I've been so friendly to the Jewish people, letting them be, uh, have high, you know, esteemed positions on my council and stuff. Just 19%. Good, more provinces convert. Although it's mostly over here, it looks like. Drat. The Ebonites are getting worse. Total depravity is... Youch. Heleno Aramic. Oh, what? Is that culture? Uh, then what? Religion Sethian? Oh, whoops. Yeah, it appears the Sethians have taken over here. All right, cool. Things are spreading. Heresy is spreading. Oh wow, somebody converted. I don't know, it's a revolt, but still. I inherited a bishopric?
I can hold it. That confirms my theory. I can actually hold the bishoprics. I basically am Islamic. Huh, go figure. Second, Muhammad. I'm doing all the cool stuff before you. And he's... <laughs> he's already Zoroastrian. And wow, he's uh, getting tutored by, tutored by the king himself. At least he'll receive a good education. Hopefully a military one. He'll need it. For his uh, coming fate, as it were. And God knows what the hell I'll have to do with it. Ugh. It's gonna be rough. Rose unrest. Heretic stronghold. Alright. I'm still hoping that the last moment here we're just gonna pick up uh, a claim and just destroy the Empire outright. Alright. Come on now. Punch your way through. I mean, do I try and stop the Byzantines? They do have a decent number of troops and it'd be worth the war score. Alright. Once the siege is complete, uh, we're gonna go stop the Byzantines. I can't allow them to progress any further in their war. Unfortunately, Egypt has some problems right now, so we're gonna have to see. I mean, destroying the Byzantine Empire and reducing them to one province is probably the best way to handle things. Seriously, I can hold these? I never tried! I never even paid attention to that. I'm basically Islamic without invasions and decadence. That's... And with family marriages. I'm okay with this. I actually am perfectly fine with this. Well, just that few troops. I was hoping for more. Uh, well, that'll keep him occupied if it doesn't. Alright. Try and not let them escape. Because we are uh, having some problems around here. Right. Okay, taken care of. They're up to 53%. And they just lost a decent chunk of their soldiers, so they aren't doing so well. That appears to be uh, two-thirds of their remaining men. Shouldn't be too hard to get a hold of them. Hello there, it appears you've gained your independence. Congratulations. Okay, I think that's the last of their soldiers. Pretty much. Last of everything. Do, 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 do. Well, there's no point in chasing them. We're just gonna sit here and siege them out now. That is a much better idea. Alright. Alexandria will be ours. And so will that bit of Crete end with an Elaquitara as well. Or Vito is converted to the Valentinian faith. Excellent. I mean, at this point, we just need Alexandria, and then we have the Pentarchy. For ourselves. Alright, come on now. 7.3 freaking. Well, you're fully enforced. I might as well bring you guys over. Help with the siege and all that. Can do some good. 375 troops. I think actually Egypt is stronger now than them. Although I don't think they're strong enough to handle the revolts. Poor Egypt. They have uh, not had an easy life since they managed to break free from the Empire. You know, I just sort of realized that uh, I have no reason to be giving land to the church if uh, they're basically just feudal lords. How did I never notice this? Like, I feel like an idiot for not noticing this. Something I should have noticed. <laughs> uh, oh, well, whatever. Just 
tempting to start trying to cut through them. Gotta be patient, though. Patience is a virtue and all that. Sethian Uprising. Yeah, Oriens is having some trouble. I think Nicene in general is falling apart. 173 to 64. We are 10 provinces behind the Arians. With any luck, some of them will manage to get converted out, but we'll see. I mean, we hold uh, five holy sites at this point, but they have a pope. So it's tough to say who will be able to convert more. This uh, makes me think that I need to start attacking inland Africa. Uh, these are easy areas to convert generally, so... Starting there might be wise. Get us enough land, hopefully. We need to be the first ones to overtake the Valen or overtake the uh, Nicene, preferably. Although they already have a Pope, so it doesn't matter. In order to get our Pope, we have to not be heretic. Also realizing that Valentinian... Is, I can be the Church of Aeons, then, can't I? Holy shit, I can! It's, I just realized that. Sweet. Alright. Calatrava has converted. Excellent. 90% and climbing. Eastern Roman Empire. It is losing fast. So, uh, am I going to get that claim? No, of course not. I have money. Why would I get a claim now? Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Ebonite's Uprising. Yeah. Jeez. You got a lot of provinces that are Ebonite. While still fighting in the uh, War to Revoke stuff. Ooh, that's 100%. Good game. You lose. Bye-bye. Hey. I got everything but the one I wanted. And you know what? That's fine. I'm willing to wait. So, you know, I, I can wait. I have, uh, you know, I've got ten years. Sure. <laughs> Think I care? I don't. We're just going to leave now. Ser in all seriousness, when I... Uh, hang on. It's lowest rated vassal that I give a shit about. Thirty-one, eh? Well, we can prop you up a bit. There you go. Alright, good. So, that's useful. I mean, we have th we have the ability to go after them, and if the empire happens to dissolve for whatever reason, um, then that's good. You know, that's, that's a, that that just frees uh, that dude, this guy, and then I can take him without the treaty or anything. And I mean, all he's got is one province, so mm, we'll see. Grandview of Cania. Duchy of Crete. There you go. Good. Like, there is a chance they will just be eaten. They're down to a single province. They have... He has three vassals. Two of which are Incuminical Patriarch and the Coptic Pope. Um... And one of which is an actual vassal. So, I mean, he's he's got three holdings total. <laughs> what few troops he can raise are uh, a little threat to anyone, really. His, his time is done. On the plus side, Punic seems to be spreading everywhere but my territory. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't care if the Phoenix spread is in my territory. I'll live without it. Good. So is that taken care of? We're closing in. Uh, 
and how goes Nicene? They're dying. And we're catching up to Arian. Good. We'll still need to overcome Nicene, but honestly, at the rate of their demise, it's not likely going to be a problem. They have zero authority, and it's likely to stay that way. They control 5% from holy sites. That's it. That's it. It's only partial control because the Coptic Pope himself actually holds the holy site in question. So, that's good. No problems. Get at him. There you go. Leave those guys behind. They're too expensive for this. Alright. Arborea. Hey, finally, that's the last of the islands. Well, kind of. We've purged the nice scene from the islands. Let's go with that. <laughs> what, did the touch of Valentinianism just cause this? We, we put one Valentinian province or spreads? Probably. I mean, we pretty much converted all of Hispania now. Or at least the part that we own. Yet the African Solar Faith still exists, if you can believe it. Oh well, we're closing in on the complete hold of the Pentarchy. That's what we truly desire. There's no way he's actually going to get... No, no, there's no way. I should destroy him. I should destroy him. Okay. Apparently you want to retreat that way. Sure. I should pay the XP cost, or <laughs> XP cost, prestige cost, and just destroy him. Like, yeah. Let's move. It's time. I want, I'm willing to pay the prestige cost because you know what? I want to be the one who puts the fucking empire out of its misery. You know that? I'm willing to at this point. I want to be the reason it dies. I want to be the one who exiles it for all eternity. I want that to be me. Not Egypt, not some schmuck me. And I'll pay the prestige. The 2300 it will probably cost me. I'll pay it with pride. Because it is the end of the Empire. Alright. <sighs> really? <laughs> oh, whatever. Anyway, that'll be for next time, though. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Wow. Things are looking uh, pretty bad for the Nicene Faith. The Ebonites have pretty much taken over Italy. How does it still have so much land? Like, it has a surprisingly large quantity of freaking provinces. It does not look like 154. Like, it really doesn't. It, it looks like nothing. Slavic Empire in Scythia. Pagans are doing work. Ketula. Yeah, I need to turn my gaze inward and start actually dealing with these bastards. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely host, Galefin, signing off.